Volobina. The Singatoka Sand Dunes are a unique archaeological site in Fiji which is protected along the coral coast of Itileu. It is Fiji's first natural preservation park declared in the 1980s located in Singatoka. The dunes have very historical, environmental and other features that influences the studies taken in this course. Some of these features include the distribution of the Lapita people. Archaeologists and researchers believed that the dunes were the first place settled upon by the Lapita people when they arrived in Fiji 3,500 years ago. The evidence of this includes bones and skulls as well as fragments of pottery to name a few. This is evident and has been proven to be very similar to other sites that have similar findings across the region where the Lapita people settled. For example, pottery fragmentation was also found at other sites as well. This epitomizes the fact that we are one people, one ocean in Oceania, evolving as one group of people. As equally important in understanding our history, the dunes are also vital in the preservation of the ecology within the area. The dunes are home to a vast variety of flora and fauna species as well as endemic bird and turtle species here in Fiji, including, to name a few, the Fiji Gosho and the Hawksbill Turtle. Not only home to flora, fauna, as well as bird and turtle species, but the dunes itself act as a natural barrier to the nearby Kunukunu community as well. The structure and composition of the dunes serve as a natural barrier from rising sea levels, strong winds and waves. Most importantly, they act as a natural buffer enabling the survival of plants and root crops planted or cultivated within the area. In addition, the dunes are home to a beautiful and stunning scenic landscape and they have a vast array of seashells dotted along the coastline for people to see. However, the dunes have suffered from certain impacts that occur naturally but mainly from the impact of human activity. Measures have been taken to encounter these impacts such as the implementation of laws to regulate the area from harmful activities, for example, afforestation, the availability of tour guides or park rangers that guide tourists and at the same time ensure that no environmental damage is done, such as the disposal of rubbish, as well as ensuring that no unnecessary harvesting or activities takes place along the dunes or park. A very good thing to notice is that the government has established the National Trust of Fiji and has made it work with NGOs, the WWF and other organizations in upholding the aim of conserving the dunes as well. In conclusion, the Singatoka Sand Dunes are a unique, multifaceted and significant landmark in Fiji. A natural barrier, an archaeological trove, and anomaly as well as a thriving ecosystem, these hills of sand are a good reminder of the resilient people as people in the Pacific work hand in hand in protecting the natural environment and its ecology and surroundings.